Loki Theory, and I am joined by Chris, or Boy Beta, Boy Beta, Boy Beta. and I am Matthew, or Ice Cream Gaming and Vlogs 4 Pack 6, long YouTube channel name, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about Charmander's Tale. It's a theory that me and him discuss with each other, and we think we have an explanation for it. Okay, can I you, take yes. over? We believe that Charmander's Tale, in Charmander's Tale, near that area, he has a second brain, just like the fourth the uh, mentioned Tyrannosaurus Rex. Mm -hmm. And basically, the tail produces flames based on the first mind's attempts, like feelings. And when it evolves into Charizard, it needs the second mind more. That makes it more logical that at some point in Charmander's life, he has two brains. Because how would a one brain control not only all limbs, but wings? And a flame on its tail that 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 controls emotion and death, life and death. So basically, it's control, it's controlling like about eight things. Actually, nine things, including its all its organs, and and its like ability to spit fire. There are ten things that one brain has to do. But, I mean, our human body does a lot of things, but not as much as a Charizard's body. It has to keep organs intact, it, ha it has to let us, like, it has to keep our voice box moving, it has, it basically has to keep, like, our limbs moving so that we could do the normal things that a human body can do. And that's why I theorize that at birth, Charmander has a very small, very weak mind that all it could do is just produce, is just produce the flames on its tail. And make it now can move. It's, all it does is control the tail. When it evolves into Charmeleon, it does more. It helps out with all the organs and body parts and stuff. When it evolves into Charizard, it's doing five things at once. Yeah, both minds are doing five things at once. Because... When a Charizard is flying, it has to have its wings. It has to have its wings flapping. Its tail has to be running because that's its life source. And it has to control the flames. Now he's not as accidentally blowing himself up because of all the flames. Yeah. On its organs. And here's my output for it. Charmander's tail is another mind because it control it like keeps in all of its emotions and like it's basically its life because charmander's tail if it goes out it dies if you take out the human brain there's a buffer before it before you die but and also it it shows emotion like when it's mad it burns brighter when it's ill or weak, it burn it dims down a bit, yeah. and it, it so yeah. That's basically my input on it. Yeah. So and also, I I know you might be thinking if it if a Charmander and if the whole Charmander line has two brains, how come if you kill if you were to shoot if maybe if you were to shoot it in the head. How come it just doesn't, how come the butt tail just doesn't kick in and keep it alive? Well, that's that, the thing, because the first mind also controls the second mind. Yeah, but if you knock out the second mind, it's going to be hard for it to live. It's going to be super weak. Mm -hmm. So, the, the first mind is kind of its life force, but the second mind is its main life life force like the tail is its main life force mm -hmm. and so yeah that's basically what we have to that's basically what we were 
thinking on our Charmander theory. And if you agree, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And with that being said, this was a theory. A pokey theory. Okay, let's not copy game theory. They're they're like way bigger. Yeah, I know. But this but, this is Pokey Theory signing out. Goodbye.